And that brings us into chapter 33, which is Leaving New Nora. Luther, again, we get some, some pride moments from there. He's proud of Volk and how he handled the situation. We get a little more backstory into the excavation site. So what they are excavating is actually the corpse of a mystical creature. And luckily, Karna was able to secure them passage on a ship, but unfortunately, it's Callisto's ship. Karna does make a lot of effort to lead Volk into this and to kind of, hey, look, you got to realize that this is literally the last option that we have. It's rough because Callisto, despite all the horrible things he does, is a really good pirate. <laughs> so his crew could actually handle getting through the lightning straits. Something's navigated before. It is a reliable way to get there. Despite this, Volk still is really hesitant. Karna kisses him. Turns out Volk is a boy, and that convinces him that this is the right thing to do. <laughs> Guess that's just being a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably like dang it i should have done this more often to, to settle arguments <laughs> she didn't realize it was that easy she should just give him a kiss so this is a huge challenge for volk uh, it's it's pretty much like unlike any other challenge he's ever faced because karna is trying for her best to help volk with everything else because of everything that volk has done for karna for the sun chaser for the crew on the Sun Chaser, Volk is not wanting to let her help. And this is one of those things that I had to think of that, like, why, why do people refuse to accept help? I understand Volk is a very, I don't want to say mainly man. He's not, like, yes, he's definitely masculine and all that. But, like, come on, man. Just, just take a little bit of help. You're not going to be thought of less if you take a little bit of help. Especially in this society, you know? And it's tough because Karna really is coming from a place where she genuinely wants to help him. It is not her looking to, you know, gain anything from it. She understands the risk of play, but she has decided it's worth it. And like you said, it is accepting help is one of the toughest things to do just because it always feels like there's that pressure of like, am I not able to do this on my own? Like, do I, do I need help? So just for anybody out there, you know, maybe struggling, it is okay to accept help if you need it. So re make sure if you, you know, reach out to whoever you need to, and don't think you have to shoulder everything by yourself. Yeah. There's you, you just be surprised how willing people are to help, you know, people want to see others succeed and, and have good things happen. So they're often willing to, to do what they can to help make that happen. Along with Karna, the other ones that are going to be joining, Adelgis and Fane are also going to go on the trip. Fane, again, is plague immune and feels indebted to Volk, essentially because Volk was always accepting of him. And Adelgis needs to be there because of Thesin and knowing where the excavation site is, but also wanting to stay with Volk after everything that Volk did for him when he was sick. And we do want to thank everybody for listening. And we want to make mention that Time Mark Warlock will be out for ebook and audiobook on the same date on August 20th. That'll be about three weeks from the episode that this episode airs. So be on the lookout for it for those that enjoy Shami Stovall's works. I know, as being part of the advanced readers copy, the book is amazing. Obviously, won't say anything until, until it's released. Um, but Shammy has gotten many, many a glowing review so far. Uh, we are all excited. I'm sure to have that released and I'm, I'm excited to see how well it does, uh, being part of that team. So is there anything else you want to add in Scott? No, I'm just excited for <laughs> her to come out with more and more series, like being a part of it as well, reading through it. It's extremely good. If you're a fan of kind of the magic mystery type of deal jim butcher any of his works it's very much along a similar line if you looking looking for something else along with shammy's works the, the nexus games is a great literary rpg series i know she's got like the star mark she's got a couple other series as well but but with that i think we'll end this week's episode and we'll catch you guys next week eric scott and i want to thank everyone for listening today we post a new episode every Wednesday morning at 11 Eastern, 10 Central, and 8 Pacific Standard Time. 
We are on all podcasting platforms and are also on YouTube as well for video. After the initial episode airs, we post chapter-by-chapter videos every day in a smaller, easier-to-digest format. We do want to give a special shout-out to the final member of our team, Dan Mackison, one of the admins for the Frith Chronicles wiki, link listed below, and doing his best to keep everything running smoothly behind the scenes. If you want to reach out to us, you could email us at frithguildpod at gmail.com or on Facebook or any other social media by searching for Frith Guild Podcast. Just to remind everybody, we have links to everything in the description below on both the podcast and YouTube. My mouse died, and then I'm charging it right now, <laughs> and then it disconnected. Oh, no. Okay, i got to go back to the...